Hello everyone, my name is Poonima Sharma. I am a physiotherapist. Welcome back to my channel Physio Aim. And for those who are new here, very warm welcome on my channel Physio Aim. So how are you all? I hope you all are doing well. And right now, as you can see, I am also fine. So today in this video, I will tell you about all the documents you require for your NILD e counseling. Okay. So one small short reminder for you that is today is the 9th August. If you didn't pay till yet if you didn't pay your counseling fees uh, that is uh, like seat locking fees that is somehow 10,000 if you didn't pay your 10,000 seat locking fees that means you will not get seat in the second counseling as well okay so keep it in your mind if you didn't pay your fees so you can pay fees today okay today is the last date so let's back to our video in this video I will tell you all the documents that you require for your NILD counseling but if you don't have any of the document that I will tell you later in the video if you don't have any of the document I will also tell you the procedure how you will arrange your documents okay so yeah let's get started so first of all i'm really sorry that i'm making this video so 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 late i know you all are the most of you are waiting for this video but uh, i'm really making this video so late so i'm first of all i'm really sorry as you all know the reason is i was not well from last one month my health was not well so i want to take your three to five minutes extra because i want to tell you about my condition as you all are belong from the like you all are gonna to be entered in the medical field right so i want to tell you about my condition so if you want particular document verification so you can shift to that part of the video link is given in the description box if you have extra three to five minutes you can definitely watch this portion as well so as you all can see in the x-ray neck of femur has fractured and one more thing here is a subcontral cyst you can like you cannot see in the x-ray or uh, in this uh, ct scan film but yeah subcontral cyst on the head of femur i'm also suffering from coxa vera deformity many doctors said thr to me like operative treatment for me thr is total hip replacement as you can see here here your acetabulum and head of femur has replaced so thankfully i get one doctor he said he will treat me conservatively with the help of medication rest traction rest doesn't mean like i was just chilling or enjoying rest means i was literally i was in the supine position not even i can turn here and there i was just in supine position continuously for three to four days okay so that was so much painful condition for me but uh, with the help of my family i was right now i'm able to sit in front of you yeah there is a problem that i can't walk properly as i was walking before so as you all know i did bhangra on the stage bhangra is a so much energetic dance i did on the stage but right now i'm in the condition that i even can't stand on my both leg so yeah it's a kind of not that much easy situation for me but i'm handling myself uh, i can't sit more than one or two hours like i can't sit continuously two or three hours but yeah i can sit at least for one hour and i can make videos for you okay so yeah that's all about me so let's get back to our topic video that is the document required for nild counseling okay so one by one i will tell you number one thing that you have is your confirmation page now how you will get your confirmation page i will show you okay so here you can see it's an nild page you need to log in and register your id see this now i sign in the id after that you need to go on my application option from here you need to click on this button print online form okay after that go from here you can see wait a minute so here you can print it i will not zoom in because it's the privacy of someone else so from here you can see click on the option print and you can get it out it's your confirmation page okay so as you see this much easy you can download your confirmation page if you don't have now second important thing is your 10th mark sheet yes you have your 10th mark sheet and next is your 12th mark sheet if you appeared this year in the 12th and if you don't have your mark sheet so don't need to upright like you don't need your mark sheet okay but if you have passed your 12th in 2021-22 so definitely you have your mark sheet okay moving next you have your Aadhaar card yes Aadhaar card is really very important so you must have your Aadhaar card next you have your admit card yes you must have your admit card okay now moving next you have your caste certificate yes caste certificate if you belong from obc sc okay you must have your caste certificate in obc non layer certificate so you must have your new caste certificate not older than one year okay so moving next you must have your domicile domicile means where you are living okay if you are living in up maharashtra mp rajasthan anywhere if you are living you must have your certificate okay that is called domicile certificate but the domicile certificate is specially for northeast student and one more is jabbo and kashmir students okay i uh, like if you are from up bihar and anywhere else you will manage okay you don't need but if you particularly from northeast and jabbo and kashmir then definitely you should have your certificate domicile certificate okay now 
Now moving next, you must have your medical certificate. Yes, medical certificate. So many of you are asking me about the format of medical certificate. There is no particular medical certificate format. Okay, what you need to do, you just need to go in any government hospital. Okay, when you go in the government hospital, say to any employee there, like anyone working there, it is either be nurse or anyone else. Okay, you can say to them, you want your uh, like medical fitness certificate for uh, submitting in college. They will help you definitely. Okay, I made my health certificate when I was in the twelfth class. Like I passed my twelfth class, not in the twelfth class, just for admission in BPT. Okay. so here you can see wait a minute I so here you. you can see my health certificate it is a swasth pramar patra in hindi i got this from government hospital malkhan singh in aligarh and uh, the date is 2018 i passed my 12th in 2017 but i took one year drop so i got this in 2018 for taking admission in bpt okay so there is another situation uh, like i take admission in bpt in 2019 but here is another mystery behind it so i will not go in deep CMO sign is most important, and their stamp is most important on your health certificate. Okay, one more thing you can see here. It is a health. Here you can see it is also my health certificate. I made this in two thousand fifteen, and from the same government hospital. Okay, here you can see, but it is in English. It is in Hindi, and year is also different. It is in two thousand fifteen. It is in two thousand eighteen. So format. It is not important that format should be the same. Okay, format can be changed, but important is a government stamp. government is stamp and signature it is most important okay this you must have chief medical officer sign on your health certificate okay you cannot get it from any private hospital you must go to the government hospital to have sign cmo sign okay and uh, the format will be vary from state to state so i am not sure about the format and one more thing when i made uh, like that time when i made my uh, this uh, health certificate so that time i went to the every opd um, in orthopedics department physician department ophthalmologist like ent specialist i went everywhere but uh, the question they are asking to me why you need this what like what can what disease i was suffering that time so they are asking me questions like this so i clearly said to them i want uh, this just for my medical fitness certificate so they they are saying pass 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 and they were sign like doctor was sign that time and i just came out from the department like this so uh, i have specs uh, as you can see here i have specs so when i went to for eye specialist he just wrote that time my eye number nothing else okay so after that i went to particular cmo room and after waiting for somehow 2 to 3 hours then i get finally my health certificate so yeah in government hospital it is a quite time taking process but definitely you can get in in a one day so just go for it okay moving next question that is your gap certificate yes if you did your 12th in 2020 or 2021 2022 you must have your gap certificate if you did your 12th this year uh, in 2023 you don't need to have your gap certificate so what do you need to do for your gap certificate you must need to go in a court yes i'm saying right you are hearing right in a court for a affidavit gap affidavit okay there you will see people sitting under a black umbrella okay with their uh, dark sign a chair with a uh, some small uh, computer i what what i can say pc or laptop something like this on their desk you can definitely uh, get this kind of people in the court so you need to go there and say to them you want your gap affidavit you didn't do any degree in between your 12th until now so you want your gap certificate so they will write on paper and they will give you so they will charge you somehow 100 200 300 it vary from state to state i get it in 50 to 60 only rupees okay i can't show you my gap certificate because i don't have that because i already submitted in my university at the time of admission at that time my friend's brother helped me to get gap certificate so uh, i didn't take any photo or anything because i was literally so frustrated uh, at the time of counseling uh, so i don't have anything to show you but yeah you can easily make from the court you just need to go there and say to them you want gap affidavit and they will give you okay now few small thing that you should have your migration certificate your bona fide certificate and your transfer certificate these three things are important your migration certificate your bona fide or i can say character certificate and your leaving certificate or transfer certificate okay now last important thing is you must have your photographs okay so that you can upload if they ask you definitely you should have your photograph otherwise you don't need okay photograph passport size photograph in same background or in same dress uh, as you have uploaded at the time of your form filling okay yeah and one more last thing that i forgot that is your passing certificate you must have your passing certificate of your 10th class and your 12th class you must have your passing certificate as well passing certificate is separate from your mark sheet okay so just ask to your college authority or like your school authority they will give you if it, they didn't give you they will definitely give you your passing certificate i will show you mine okay
as you can see this this is my passing certificate in 2017 i passed my 12th so yeah this is my passing certificate okay i don't have my 10th class passing certificate because at that time i was unaware about it uh, so i don't have my 10th class passing certificate i will show you migration certificate as well so here you can see this is my migration certificate that is my character certificate and bona fide certificate it is a photocopy of my certificate okay one more thing that i forgot to tell you that you should have your allotment letter okay and ild people send you na this mail on your gmail so just take print out of this so that you can upload at the time of document verification okay so start arranging your documents in like this in this uh, document file so that at the time of your document verification you will not be in a panic mode okay so yeah that's all for the video i will see you in the next video bye bye good night thank you jai hind